This week we will be drawing some um, mugs. Some people call them coffee mugs, but we are going to draw ours with hot chocolate in it for the fall season. And this will be our last week of working on fall season because even though I know we have moved, in, moved into December, um, technically it is still fall and autumn season until December 21st. So you only have just a few days before Christmas, before it is actually winter time. So you're only a few days into winter time by the time Christmas gets here. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Zentangles. And Zentangles is here. And they are patterns put together. And no two of the same patterns can be side by side. And you will have some examples of Zentangles to look at. So you can kind of get an idea of what kind of patterns you want to use. Because you don't have to draw the same exact patterns as me. You can choose whatever patterns you want to on each cup. And then you do have a pattern back here in the background for your wallpaper. Because the cups are stacked up on the counter table. Whichever you would like for it to be. And what we're going to do first. Is you're going to make sure you have a different pattern in every in each cup. No two patterns should be the same on your cups. And your pattern for your background should be different too. So, so we're just using lines and shapes as we usually as we have been doing thus far this year. So first you want to start with the bottom cup and maybe put a line. And you can make your cup as big as you need it to be depending on the size of your paper. Then bring just a curved line out going up. And another one that goes up. From that line. And then we're going to bring a line in. And stop it at a point enough to leave Leave enough room in there, and you definitely need to be drawing with pencil first. Leave enough in there so that you can add another cup. And if you need to, you can go back later and connect it all the way. And then you're going to draw a straight line across. For the top rim of your cup. That the other cup is sitting in. And then you're just going to add. These curvy. Wavy lines. And just curve it on around. It's more curvy than wavy. And curve it. And then curve it back. Curve it in really sharp. And then curve it back around. And just follow that same line to give it some thickness and curve it on back around and up and there you have your handle and those handles are actually going to be colored in black And then we'll start with the next shape of our cup. 
So we're going to bring a line up kind of to the side, but not all the way. Bring it up. And this is going to be a smaller cup, so you don't bring it up as far. And then another line up and round. And a kind of a curved line that will straighten up and connect to your first line. To the side of your cup. And then just almost like a U shape. We're going to make it really thick like a bubble letter for the handle on that cup. And that's going to be colored in as well. Now for our next cup. You're going to start it from the line of the brim of the top of your cup. Your second cup. I'm going to go up, bring it, bring that third cup up, curve it in just a little and stop to leave space for your next cup. Bring this line up and curve it in, leaving enough space to add a cup in there. And you may want to make sure you leave enough space each time to where if you need to, you can come back later and like I said, fill it in after you draw your next cup. And then just make sure you draw that line to show the top where the top of your cup start stops. And another handle. And this one's gonna be longer because it's a taller cup. Just bring that line around, curve it around, follow on the other line, and curve it back to where the other one starts or started and color that in with your black and it doesn't matter if it's crayon marker color and pencil whatever you're using and then we're gonna do our fourth cup and our fourth cup on top up here, it's kind of doing a balancing act, but it has hot chocolate in it with mini marshmallows. So you're going to bring those two lines up, kind of curve them like you did all the rest. And then you're going to draw an oval shape up here at the top of this one, your last cup. And then our handle, as usual. But this handle is going to be more like this one. Kind of like an S shape. Technically it is an S shape, but we're going to bubble letter that S shape. So just bring that curvy on around. Following. With leaving a little bit of space in between. Following that line. The first line. And connect it back to where you started. And of course we're going to color it in again. And now we're just going to finish off our marshmallows first. So just add your mini marshmallows in the top. 
for when you color that in brown for your hot chocolate. And you make sure you leave your marshmallows white. Now, we're going to add our It's in tangle patterns. And this one's just going to be some straight and vertical lines. Some really thick ones. And once we have those on there, Making sure it did not bleed through because markers do bleed through the paper. So keep that in mind if you use markers. You may want to put another sheet of paper up under there. And Going around, and this one's going to be just really thick circles. Now this one, my next one, we're just going to do a simple line and dot pattern. And my next one, I'm just going to do some wavy lines. Looks like little waves for in the water. And now I have a different pattern on each cup, which gives me a Zentangle drawing. And of course you still need to add that different pattern for your wallpaper in the background. And so you're going to need a horizon line for your counter or your tabletop, whatever your cups are sitting on. So make sure you add that horizon line so that this is the foreground. And the cups are sitting on the foreground, and this is your background back here that you're going to color with pattern. Now, you can color whatever color you want your cups and your, um, and your wallpaper and your table or countertop to be. It does not matter. Only thing is, um, I'd like for your handles to make sure they remain black and your marshmallows inside of there need to rem need to remain white and I'm just going to come in and add some wavy lines throughout my background I can't go but so far with these the top because I can't draw through my cups because they're going to be colored different colors whatever colors you want them to be and your background can be whatever color you want it to be I'm just giving you kind of an idea of how to do your background and then I just took because purple is kind of a darker color than blue I just took and kind of added that in there. And I'm going to color over, lightly color over, the purple that's in it so that 
the purple shows through and you can still see the detail of the wallpaper. In that background. These corners are tricky. And once you have that done, you want to color the whole entire thing all the way across. I was just giving you, showing you an example of how you could do your background. And make sure you come in and color your hot chocolate. Brown. And then choose whatever color you want for your table. And you can put designs on your table or your countertop, whatever you want to call it. And if you want to, but I just make sure you put designs on that back wallpaper and your um, so that it is a different zen tangle. And your cups need to have different patterns in each one in order for your drawing to be considered zentangle drawing and this would be our this will be our last week of doing fall we're going to move on into december projects and i hope you enjoy